I'd like to welcome everybody out this morning to Valley Town Cemetery Chapel. I'd like to welcome one that's viewing on the on Facebook this morning. Very special day, Mother's Day. I want to wish all of our mothers a very happy day. Hope everyone has a good meal and a, a, a blessing. Hope all of our mothers get to see their kids today. I wish my mother was here where I could walk up to her, give her a hug and tell her how much I love her. I miss my mother and my dad both. I miss them terribly. <coughs> We'll uh, go over our prayer list. Brother Scotty Jacobs that we've been praying for up in Eugene, Oregon, passed away yesterday morning. They had told him last week he had six to 12 months to live. He passed away yesterday morning. So we wanna send our prayers to the family. Let them know we're thinking about them. Need to remember Joan Whitaker. She's in pretty bad shape. I think she's fixing to go back into the nursing home. And we need to remember Sister Grinnell. And uh, remember Pastor Robert and his wife, Joy Burt. Danielville, Georgia. They're just getting over the the COVID-19 virus. And uh, remember them. Remember the church. Remember the lost in the community. I told Daniel a while ago, if everybody that passed through this graveyard this morning would stop in, we'd have a house full. We'd probably have to to set out chairs if everybody would stop in and pass by this morning. But uh, we're here. The Bible says we're two or three are gathered that he would be in the midst. And uh, so we're looking forward to when everybody can be here. Let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. <laughs> Father, we thank you, Lord, for another privilege, Lord, to be in my house this morning, Lord. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to stand and bring your word this morning, God. Father, I just pray, Lord, for the ones that's not here yet, Lord, that you would bless them, comfort them, Lord, and keep them safe from harm. Father, I pray for Sister Linda, Lord, that she lost her husband yesterday. God, that you would bless her, bless the family, strengthen them, Lord. They're going to have hard days coming up ahead. I just pray, Lord, that you'd be with them, comfort them. Father, I just pray, Lord, for Brother Robert and Sister Joy, Lord, that they continue to improve. Father, we thank you for Letting them be a part of our life, Lord. Father, I really appreciate Brother Robert and what he stands for, his wife, Joy. Father, pray for uh, Sister Joan, Lord, that you'd comfort her. Father, just be with her, Lord, as she prepares to go back to the nursing home. Bless Sister Vernell, Lord. God, I pray that you'd just send her a special blessing this morning, God. Bless Philip and Rosa, Lord. Sister Barbara Jean, Lord. Father, bless all of our mothers this morning, God, whether they're here or at home, wherever they may be, Lord. I just pray, Lord, that each and every mother would receive a special blessing this morning, God. Lord, be with Sister Kathy. Lord, if she continues to improve, Lord, just comfort her, Lord. Father, I just pray, Lord, that you would bless the service this day. Father, May each and every word that's said, each and each and every song that's sung, be to uplift thy holy precious name. Lord, we ask these things in thy holy precious name. Amen. Uh... 
privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, oh what needless pain just because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Yeah. 
need no comfort to show my way. He will lead me day by day if I only in him by. He will lead me cause he's my God. Yes, Jesus loves me and he's my God. I'm going to be reading this morning in Proverbs chapter 31. <coughs> going to be talking about a virtuous woman. You know, it, uh, like I said last Sunday, it takes a very special lady to be a mother. I'm going to start in verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is above rubies. The heart of her husband do a safely trust in her that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. <coughs> she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. <coughs> she rises also while it is yet night and giveth her meat to her household and a portion to her maiden. She considereth a field and buyeth it with the fruit of her hands. She planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth out not by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all of her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of, of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known at the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She makes a fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well into the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtual, virtuously, but thou ex, excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Like I said earlier today, I, I'd give anything if my mother was still alive where I could walk up to her and give her a hug. Tell her how much I love her. But I've got a promise. Because I'm covered by the blood. That I'll see her again one day. Amen. You know, there's there's nothing greater than a mother's love for her children. You know, any, any woman can have a child. 
it takes a special woman to be a mother. In our day and time we live, we see women all the time walking away from the kids, leaving them with, mom, uh, with daddy, leaving them with grandparents. They don't want nothing to do with them. There's a difference in a mom and a mother. A mother loves her kids. She takes care of her, her kids. She teaches them right from wrong. As far back as I can remember, my mom worked on a regular job. She came home. She helped Eddie in the garden. She'd come in and fix supper. After supper, she'd sit down and read her Bible. That, to me, is what a mother is. She works hard on the job. Even, 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 even if her job's a housewife, she works hard at her job. But she still has time. And she gets home to help her husband in the garden, whatever needs to be done around the house, she does. She cleans the house. She makes care of their takes care of the kids to make sure their needs are met, helps them with their homework, whatever. She cooks. But she always makes time for God. Amen. That's the most important thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's important to take care of your house, to take care of your kids, Take care of your husband. Make sure everybody's got what they need. But the most important thing is making time for God. That's the most important thing for any of us, man or woman. God should be the cornerstone of our life. Without God, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth to live life without God. I know I've been there. Without God, where would I be? There's no tell. I probably wouldn't even be alive today if it wasn't for God. But each and every one of us As a mother. All of us has a mother. But what I'm trying to say is the ones of us that has a mother that still live. This is her day. We should make her feel like a queen. I don't have a mother. But I got a dear wife that takes care of my daughter. Takes care of our house care of me. And she's always got time for God. This is her day. She should be treated like a queen. Right, sister? Don't you think you need to be queen, treated like a queen today? I guess. <laughs> right? It'd be good to her today. <laughs> you lift her up on a bed, on a pedestal. <laughs> I didn't start to fight here. <laughs> but there is no greater love than a mother's love. A man, I don't know what it is about a man. My dad, I know he loved me. He showed me he loved me, but 
he never told me he loved me until he was dying. Sometimes these old timers, they have a hard time showing their feelings and talking about their feelings. Right like you. <laughs> but anyway, I'm getting off here. Our mother I'll take this the wrong way. Our mother should be the most important person in our life. Our wife should come next. To me, my wife is the most important person in my life because mother's gone. I still love my mother. I miss her. I miss her terribly. Sometimes I can think about her and dad. When I'm alone, I'll just burst out in tears because I miss this baby. But my wife most important thing to me here on this earth. My daughter is the second most important thing to me here on this earth. Now I'm a Christian. But if I see somebody doing my daughter wrong or doing my wife wrong, I'm ready to fight. See my wife hurt so many times, my people, and I'm ready to take on the world when it happens. That's what's the word I'm looking for, man. That's normal. If you love your wife, you're going to take care of her. You're going to try your best to take care of her. I know. All the time we've been married, I've been hard on my wife. I thank God she's got a forgiving heart. Because I'm a man. Men make mistakes. It's kind of like the old men I was talking about, the old timers, you know. A lot of times you don't let your feelings show. And you don't let you don't express how you feel. And I'm bad for that. I want my wife to know to hear today that she's the most important thing in my life. Always has been. Always will be. I don't know what I do if something has happened to her. But if, you're, if your mother's still living, listen to me out there. If your mother's still living, you need to be with her today, if at all possible. I know there's mothers in the nursing home, and you can't go into a nursing home. But you can get on the phone. Call the nurse's desk and tell them you want to talk to her. You can tell her over the phone how much you love her. And when all this is passed, you'll see her. Give her the biggest hug you've ever given her. She deserves it. My mother. She never wanted much. But her and Daddy both worked for what they had. And nowadays it takes two people working to have anything. I mean, it's it's no good because when we leave, we can't take it with us. But everybody wants to live comfortably. They want to have their needs met. Of course, God's going to supply your needs. But, you know, people's got wants in their life that it's okay to want things. 
as long as you don't put those things before God. Now, if you if you're wanting something and it tears you away from the church, or it tires you away from your family, you don't need it. I'd like to have a brand new Cadillac. But I don't need it for things in this world. Because if I had one, I'd probably have a head this big, you know. Like, Look at me, I'm running around the Cadillac. <laughs> That's right. You know, a lot of people pray for things, but they don't think about what what's going to come with that. When we pray, we ought to pray, Lord, Thy will be done. I mean, I pray for sick people all the time, and a lot of people pray healing on them. You know, it may not be God's will for them to be healed because of something they've done in their past or whatever. I don't pray healing on people, you know, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know what I'm talking about here. Heal! <laughs> Knock them cold dead. <laughs> in the head, I don't pray like that. I pray, God, thy will be done in our life. I believe you can heal them. I know you can heal them. If it's your will. But I'm not going to go. If, if Ray was on his deathbed, I wouldn't take him by the hand and pull him up. I wouldn't take him by the hand and pull him up out of bed and then say, Be healed! <laughs> Knock him back down in the, in the bed. I don't believe in that. But we need to be careful with our prayers because if you want something real bad and it's not God's will, there's going to be a bunch of other stuff that comes along with that prayer if he answers. If. That's a big if. God knows our needs. You know, Tammy takes care of me. That's her job. Taking care of me. Because I've got a lot of things wrong with my health. She don't make a lot of money at it. I don't make a lot of money on disability. But our needs are met. We've got a roof over us. We've got food in the cabinet. Our bills are paid. Our needs are met. I mean, it would be nice to have, say, $6,000 a month that I could just use it for whatever. But I don't have it. I don't want it. it I mean, it, it would be nice to have extra money every month. But I don't want extra money. Because if I had that kind of money to spend every month or save or whatever, would I, would I be here? Or would I be putting up other things before God? I would love to take my daughter to the West Coast and just let her see the beautiful world that God's made. I mean, there's a lot of beautiful sights between here and California. But if I had that kind of money, I'd be on the road and I wouldn't be at church. Be careful what you pray for. If I had, say, $6,000 to spend, that's what I'd do. I would take Beth to the West Coast and then back. But, if I'd done that, I'd probably be gone like three weeks. I'm not here supporting the church. So I really don't need that. 
I need to be here. Serving God. Worshiping Him. Giving Him praise. Every Christian that's been saved by the blood of Jesus, they have an obligation. They have a job to do. If they're not here, they can't be doing that job. So, I don't need extra money. I'd like to have it, but I don't need it. God knows I don't need it. He don't get it to me. <laughs> it's simple. But really, I got off the subject a little bit, but we need, at all possible, with our mother sometimes it would be nice to see all of our mothers here it would have been nice to see all their children here with them but you don't always get what you think would be nice Everybody that has a living mother needs to go see her today. Before I leave the graveyard, I'm going to go see my mother. She's not here. I can go talk to her, have memories. I know she can't hear me, but I'm still going to talk to her. Because I love her. I miss mom. Annie had a bad week this week. She missed her mom so bad. But somebody knew it. Because God sent somebody to the house yesterday that really blessed her with what they done for her. So God supplied her need. But any mom Her day. Don't do nothing to ruin her day today. I know we're not supposed to put people on pedestals because a lot of times if we put somebody on a pedestal, we're placing them before God. But if anybody deserves to be put on a pedestal, I think it's a mother. They ought to be honored what they have done in their life for others. Whether it be their children, their husband, somebody that had a need, they fulfilled that need. A mother shows her love everybody. A mother does. Now a mom they can walk walk away from her children. That's not a mother. That's a woman. I don't even like to call them a mom because if they walk away from their children, they're giving their children up for whatever reason. Mother bless her children no matter what. I know that if I went out and killed somebody in cold blooded murder, my mom would still love me. She had unconditional love. There's one that has more love than that. Jesus Christ. He gave, he gave his life so that we be free. That we make it happen. 
That is the most passionate love that's ever been. Now, I love my wife, and I love my daughter. And like I say, I'm ready to fight when something happens to them. You know, some, some, uh, uh, somebody hurts them, either emotionally or physically. I'm ready to fight when somebody does something to my daughter and my wife. My love is nothing compared to God's love for us. That's what God gave me this morning. I hope somebody's got a message or got a blessing out of it. What I want to do right now, I want to ask our mothers to come up here. I wouldn't have come up. <laughs> he was the first one up when I said that. <laughs> Beth, I want you to get the camera. You take pictures. Oh, you stand on that side. Keep your distance. Now we're gonna have a one we're gonna have a woman's fight. Who's on this? You <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is she loaded the story? I'm coming down. <laughs> well, we got a little deal. Mother's Day, we won't have church tonight. I don't say open the church for six people anyway. But uh, yeah, come yeah. back next Sunday. Come back prayed up. Ready to go. God bless you and everyone else. Yeah. 